evening. Let's just get comfy. Now I've checked my laptop and I've checked the mic and the settings and there shouldn't be no interference. So if there is, I really don't know what it is. All I can put it down to is the internet. And if it's that, then they're going to get one nice -ish phone call off me. Anyway, Ooh. quite a bit has been said today online about that article that came out last night. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, did I put it on my Facebook page? But, oh, come on. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to see if I can put it up here. Right. Now, I was just watching a podcast, and she's really good. She's really good. She gets all her facts, everything. She was saying how her father, who was in prison, right? She, she told, he told her, enforcement, FBI, will not tell us anything of, a, of anything if there's an investigation. Right? And we've always been saying that. They won't tell us nothing. There's an investigation. They're not going to tell us. And he also said, and she, she put this out on one of her podcasts, that they are known to give out fake information so that you then all these social network sites, YouTubers, whatever, go chase information. They get on with their job, what they're looking at. Takes us away, totally away from where they want to be. Uh, Please. Right? Yeah, I've got that. When did he post that SG about it not being Sebastian? Because I haven't seen, as far as I know, from what I know, he's a. Uh, did post something. Hold on, I can get my mouse to. He did post something. What does he see? No. No. This. Right. That's it. <clears throat> Is it? Right, so it was today. Let's have a look. Nick Bates update. Um, right, let's have a look. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing anything. So, <coughs> but that was uh, yesterday, and it says, let's take this off, see if I can take that off and just get the, oh, come on, get off. Well, let me say, okay. Right, well, let's do it this morning. This was 18 hours, hours ago. So, not even a day ago, not even. No. It says, is it Sebastian? Time to clarify a few things. Several of you have messaged me, so I can report from podcasts or social media detectives or whatever, reporting that North Carolina have looked into it and say the photo is not of Sebastian Rogers. That isn't what they said. North Carolina law enforcement did, say, did not say it was not a photo of Sebastian Rogers. It said it had confirmed leads from that photo it was this it was this I swear to God if this mouse don't fucking start working properly I'm gonna smack it one Right, it just says nothing credible has been found from their inquiries. And this has been said to be not true. They are just, because law enforcement are not telling us. Oh my God, I'm looking, I'm looking at SG, I'm looking. <laughs> Oh God! I've got Nick Berry. Oh, well, that was one month ago. Yeah. I'm not finding anything, but I'll keep an eye out for it. My... Anyway. I'll put my email address up, and if you want, you can email it me, okay? Oh, is this here? Is that my email? Yeah, on the screen is my email address. If you have any information concerning this, involving this, the case of Sebastian Rogers, please just email me and then I can pull it up straight away. Um, I can close his DM, I can be like, I've got her as well now. Why aren't I seeing all this information coming out and I've been on Facebook and everything today? So flipping annoying.
Right, um, let's go on Facebook. Let's just close some of these things this game. Right, um, Chloe, yeah. Let's say Oh, here it is. I'll jump. Oh, darn, I'll share this with you now. This is what law enforcement released, okay? Uh, Sumner County Sheriff's Department have released a press statement. The photo of the child in North Carolina is not Sebastian Rogers. Please be careful sharing this photo further as it does look like a minor child and they deserve privacy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop that. Stop the press. How do they know it's not Sebastian Rogers? Because they just said, please be careful sharing this photo further, as it does look like a minor child. Um, well, if you've got confirmation that it's not Sebastian, you'd know whether he was a minor or not. Would you not? If they can confirm... Right, if they can confirm it's not um, Sebastian, then they know they should have I you know, found the child and confirmed it. And in which case, they would know it is not, it is a minor child. But it says, as it does look like a minor child, and they deserve privacy. Hmm. I think that's wrong or so great hearing. We go away from there. Right, let's see what else it says. Dear media representative. <clears throat> we would like to provide an important update update regarding the recent photographs circulated in connection with the search of Sebastian Rogers. After coordinated efforts with law enforcement agencies in North Carolina, we have determined that the child depicted in the photograph is not Sebastian Rogers. So you haven't found that child then? They haven't found that child in that photograph. They're going on the photo itself. We understand the gravity of the situation and the concerns it has raised. Our collaborative efforts with law enforcement agencies continue unabated as we remain to find in Sebastian. Yep, we all believe that one. We appreciate your cooperation and support in dis dissemin disseminating this update to the public. It's time for Seth. Oh, time is gone. It's time for Seth. Time for Seth to lawyer up, it seems like. As of last night, he was not allowed to see the video. He needs a lawyer to demand to view this so he, the biological father, parent, can't identify if that is his child. Something isn't right here. No, they want us to move away from that. Come on, people. Wakey, wakey. They want people to move away from that photo, away from... And go back to the 
uh, disemboweling CP. Because that's what will, what will happen. <laughs> Sorry. But they just want us to move away from that. Because they've not actually said, if you read it, right? Oh, God, my mouth. Right? Please be careful sharing this photo further, as it does look like a minor child. And they just, so they've not found that child. They've not found that child. Why? They are going on the picture. What about the video? The video, you lot, law enforcement, TBI, FBI, will not show the father or the mother. Now, if anyone can say whether it's their child or not, it's going to be one of them or both of them. Well, both of them, yeah, so that's my son. You know what I mean? Show them the video. And don't make them wait. Make Seth wait another four to six weeks before you show it in. Call him in now and show it in. Show Seth that video. Because I won't believe a word this lot say unless I see it from, hear it from Seth. It's like that light thing. The lights. I backed away from that. I did do one the other night where I showed this one video. Someone zoomed right in and it looks like there's a comment going on. But they're coming from the wrong house. The video was taken from the house on the corner of their street. And you cannot see their house. You cannot see their garage from there. If it was from that house, then I could say, yeah, okay, fair enough. But it wasn't. It wasn't from that house, it's from the house on the corner. Right, we would like to provide them mm -hmm. after coordinating out efforts with law enforcement agencies in North Carolina. We have determined that the child depicted in the photograph is not Sebastian Rogers. Who smells BS here, please? I can't be the only one spelling BS here. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I miss that for her big stank goodness. I have to, to consult. <laughs> Thanks. But, um,. No, it's just by chance I was watching this podcast, and she is brilliant. Um, and she can go, can take her years to do, to talk about a certain case, because she waits on getting all the information, all the documentation and everything. She gets it all. And she was just saying that her father, who was in prison, told her, Law enforcement, TBI, FBI will not tell you anything when there's an investigation, right? And they will normally throw out fake information so that we all go, oh, look what they're giving us, and go running off that way when really they want, they, they're working on something they want to work on. So they're throwing, throwing off this information I say, this is not Sebastian. Well, have you found the child? Have you found the child to confirm it's not Sebastian? Until you tell me this, that you have found that child, and I won't believe it if it came from law enforcement anyway, until Seth tells us that this is, is not the child, is not Sebastian, then I won't believe it. I believe that picture is Sebastian. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> oh, God, it's so annoying. But they are, they're just giving us drips of information to throw us off. That's all they're doing. They've got an investigation they're working on. And if we get too close to it, they're going to throw some else at it and throw us to get us away. They did not want that photo released. 
They did not want that photo released. Well, law enforcement, some of the county, TBI, FBI, if you listen to this, I doubt it. But if you do, if someone email, emails you some information, just reply back saying, thank you for your, for your email. We are looking into this. Please refrain from putting any information on any social network sites. Then it wouldn't have gone out. The woman wouldn't have showed her friendy and her friend wouldn't have put on Facebook for her. So it's your own fault the picture went out. Your own fault. But they've not said whether that took. Yeah, Tony's shaking up the joints, yeah. Because he's now getting onto the big news streams. He's getting onto the news channels, which we want it on. Putting it on YouTube, yeah, it's great. Gets it out there, but you need it nationwide. You need this information nationwide. So, actually, I'm just going to go up on that and share that to my page, if I can. If you let me. Just going to sh oh, share it to my page. Right. So, I am still in North Carolina. I'm not back in Tennessee. I don't... If he's in Tennessee, he's not alive. Put it that way. I'm sorry to say. So, I am in North Carolina. And... This case does need a good shaking up. It needs all this backstabbing, all this arguments, all this drama to stop. And by the police saying what they've done, it uh, said he was going to put pressure on law enforcement when he felt it was a problem. Yeah, because they're not... This is wrong. We are talking about a father whose son is missing. Now... They may not want to show him certain bits of that video because there could be a registration number on there. It could have people on there that want they're focusing on, right? Blur that out. We know they can do it. Blur it out and just show them Sebastian. They don't need to show anything else. Just show them Sebastian and where he was walking. You know what I mean? Did you walk over to the car park, which is behind that building? There's a car park behind that building. Did you go suddenly cut off somewhere and go somewhere else? Just show him the video. Blur any necessary information out. You know what I mean? They did it with um, Chad Dorman when the police went in. Found that got Chad Dorman and had the bodies, right? And they blurred all that out when the video went out. So, why can't they do this for Seth now? Because this is getting beyond a joke now. This is his parents, and they're not showing them nothing. Oh, they're denying it, Sebastian. B.S. all the way. The smell test doesn't pass this. Doesn't smell, pass the smell test. Because that is just a diversion there. What they're doing there. I mean, this is just a diversion. They want everyone away from this to stop talking about Carolina. And stop talking about that photo and putting that photo out there. Right? That article I showed you, it is, it is, it is incorrect, that article. It was confirmed today because I was watching a YouTube channel this morning when I get up. I was watching, I never catch him live though, unless, I'm, unless I have trouble sleeping and I'm awake like at 8 o'clock in the morning. Six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Then I catch him. Otherwise, I have to watch him on replay. And he's always with Seth. 
and Seth, uh, or someone said that information that came out last night is not true. I said that straight away. I said it was not true. I called it out for what it was, which was BS. I like my, that's my favourite word on here at the moment, BS. Because I can't say my other, the other, I have to say, I have to say BS. So, I thought, what was our law enforcement, what was that? I thought, what was odd? Law enforcement didn't say delete photos. If I was mum, I'd be threatening lawsuits, spreading my underage kids' picture. Yes, they haven't said. Delete the photos. They've just said. Please be careful. Sharing this photo further. So it's not even telling you not to share it. It's telling you to be careful sharing this photo further. Meaning, just don't share it to any old Tom, Dick or Harry. As it does look like a minor child. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to call them out on this because they've not found that child. So how can they say that is not Sebastian in that picture or in that video? They have not found that child. Get off your backsides and start looking for this child. Perhaps if we saw you walk, look, actually doing something, we would so sit back and say, okay, law enforcement, they are doing something. You know what I mean? They are out there. They are kicking doors in. They want that picture. They want the public to find you. Mm, yeah. Please be careful sharing this photo further. Yeah, they want us to do their work. Yep. Yeah. And the public. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another one come out which we're going to look at on here. I don't think he is Sebastian on this video clip. Right. But I want to play. Oh no, is it on my YouTube? Yeah, it's on my YouTube. It's on my YouTube. I just love these two two little videos of. I mean, it was when he was a bit younger. No. I've turned the volume the volume off on you know what I mean. I just want to have that one going on the background. They got more missing kids in Tennessee. Had to scale back resources. Tennessee, I swear to God. If I was in the US, if I lived in the USA, Tennessee would not be one place I'd settle with if I wanted to bring up children. It might be a lovely place. Really, really lovely place. Right? But oh my God. They are no good at complex cases. Law enforcement and TBI are no good at complex cases. I'm not saying they can't find all the missing children. They probably have. They have probably have found some. But, oh my God, there's so many. So, so many. And they're not doing nothing about it. They're waiting on the public to come forward with information. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And I'm just glad if I had a police force like that up here, I'd be 
Well, I'll tell you a true story. This is years ago. My my two kids were still at school, right? And we'd heard there was trouble brewing. Now, by their school, where they used to go walk up from their road to get the bus from their school, was a college. Now, there was kids coming from that college, and they was causing trouble. There was my son's school, a college, then just up the road from there, another school. So you've got two schools, right, and the college. And the older people from the college, the older lads, were coming over and starting trouble at the bus stops with these kids from these two schools. We found out about this, so me and my husband, at the time, uh, another mother and her got in her car, got in her cars. We went and picked my daughter up, who's at that school. Now, I know it might sound a bit nasty what we did. We said to Simon, my son, right, give us three minutes, three to five minutes to park the car up. We're going to go, take de get Denise and her friend out to there and park her up the road. Right, so we did, and we told the two girls, do not get out of this car. We locked the car, but they could unlock it from the inside if they wanted to. We locked them in the car and said, do not get out of this car. As we're walking down to the corner to turn towards my son's school, there's a fight going on. And I said, Vince, pull them apart. Right? And my husband looked at him and said, nah, leave them. I went, Vince? He said, no, leave them. He said, that's the Cockshire Hill student. And he's got the better hand at the moment of the college, lad. So we left them. We thought, okay, go for it, lad. You guys start the, it's the college kids of starting the trouble. And you've got the better hand of it. Go for it. As we've turned the corner, we've walked past three people. One, well, two people, sorry. One was walking in front of us and two was walking towards us. And the one in front of us passed something to this other lad. And I said, Vince, he's just passed something to him. And as we turned round to follow him, that lad then threw whatever he had in his hands in his bushes. And we're going, where's the police? Over the road is a police station. There's a fucking police station. So the one mother goes over and she goes, have you heard that ruckus going on out there? We've got young kids getting splattered everywhere here from the college students coming out. Ah, uh, we're not here for that. This is just our break time. And she said, I'll give you a fucking break time. You get off your backsides now, otherwise I'm getting on to every newspaper I can think of and have them be down here in 10 minutes' time. You know what? Literally, three minutes later, all these police come out of this station. They wasn't going to do nothing, and they were sitting in this police station while you got all these kids from the college coming over causing fights with these younger, younger lads, you know what I mean? But we needed Simon to walk up so that we could see him walking up, right? And we was watching him with this, this one lad that walked past him and the lad didn't touch him. Well, if he had, my husband would have jumped him. You know what I mean? But Simon said, why did you make us up walk through that? I said, we wanted you to walk through it because we wanted to see if who's involved. We wanted to catch the culprits. Don't worry, no one was going to hurt you, Simon. There's me, your dad, and there's that mother there. No one was going to get hurt. Said so she's just going to get all the police out now. And she did. She went and had to get, she literally had to threaten the police with the newspapers to get them to come out and catch these kids. And in the, eventually, two, two lads like had the weapon, it was a weapon, it was a knife, 
we told the police something was wrong in there and they went in and found it. Two officers then stopped a bus, which these two lads jumped on, stopped it, got on the bus, they had descriptions of these lads and dragged these two lads off, off the bus because if they'd have stayed on the bus, they'd have been starting on the kids on the bus, if you see what I mean. So they dragged them off the bus. But I thought, this is ridiculous. We've literally had to go in that police station and threaten them to do their job. They said, this is just a station where the police officers come to have their break. When this woman, when this mother told me that, I said, break. I'll break their flipping bones if they don't start getting their place together. They was not prepared to do nothing. So I don't trust the police in our place, in our country either. Don't worry. Was it last year? The year before? I think it was the year before. I can't remember now. And the police never called in the area off, never put any tape out to stop people walking by. And every day you had people going past the same area where this woman had apparently fallen into the river, walking their dogs back and forth. You had news reporters walking back and forth. You had TikTokers, everyone there, trampling all over this area where this woman had apparently fallen in. The police had done nothing. And then they did uh, an inquiry into it. Oh, guess what? Because it's the police policing themselves. Came back and said there was no problems in their investigation. No problem. Okay. You just don't see a uh, calling off a crime, a crime area. You were so determined that she'd fell in the river from that point. You should have had that all taped off. But they hadn't. The reporters were up in the um, search, at, like the divers who was going in and searching the water. They had reporters up in their faces as they was getting out their boats and everything. It was horrendous. It was ridiculous. So I don't trust the police on this case. I really don't. And every day, my anger, when I hear more and more about this case, how that the law enforcement are not doing anything. I think they are doing something, and they want us away. They want us to focus on CP. I don't want to focus on CP. So I will focus on Sebastian. And I will still fo focus on North Carolina. I'm sorry. Until they show me proof that that boy in the picture, that they have found that boy, they have spoken to his mother, they, his doctors, everyone, right, to confirm that this is not Sebastian, then I'm not going to trust him. Law enforcement has lost a lot of good police when police start being shot at. Like, yeah, that's a, we don't have them. I say we don't have that problem in the UK with the guns. But just because we don't have the right to bear arms, right, does not mean there, are no pe there aren't people out there with guns. Right? Now, I watched... Um, Something the other day at my son's house, and it was like um, police traffic, all this lot in the UK, and how they how they stop a a driver, a T, they literally do a T block, right, one behind, one in front, and one to the side, the T block them. They dive out their cars, they dived into this car. Now 
They don't know if that person in that car's got a gun. They don't. Do you know what he did have? He had a nice knife on him. Now he could have used that on any of our police that was doing that stuff. But our police won't, don't hesitate there. We're in there. They're in there. Getting this guy out of the car. They drag him out of the car if need be. You know what I mean? Where they follow a guy for two hours. I've watched him. I've watched him. I was sitting there and thinking. There's following a woman once who was drunk and she was going up and down this one road, up and down. She was going from that slow that people was able to walk alongside the car and tell her to pull over. You know what I mean? That's how slow she's going. I'm going, why don't these police officers just pull her over? Just pull up in front of her, block her. You know what I mean? Just pull up in front of her and block her. She's not going that fast. She's not going to dent your car that much. Right? But they walked in, and I thought, this has been going on for, like, by then, I think it had been going on for about an hour and a half. I thought that wouldn't have lasted five minutes in this country, in the UK. They'd have stopped that car, got the person out of the car, guns in there, knives in there. They don't care. They go for it. If they know they, the people in the car are armed, if they are for one, we'll have guns, the armed police there then. But... It's a shame when police are getting picked off like that. But you see, you've got such harsh punishments as well. Their eyes are so soft. Our, our punishments are so soft. Not when it comes to uh, analyzing a police officer or something. God, you kill a police officer in your country and you can... Depending on what state you're in, you, you could be going for the death penalty. They don't have that here. Our laws are too soft. They get away with a lot. And it depends on the judges as well, a lot of our laws. Uh, we've got judges in where I live, in Scotland. Especially one judge, I can't remember his name, who favours... He goes. Yep, he favours them. One of them comes up in front of them, in front of him. He gives them a tap on the hand. Go away and let them go. Don't do it again, naughty boy. Go away. Sort of attitude. And if one judge where in where I live that favours pedos. And that is so, so worrying because so many are going up in front of him each week. And so many are just walking straight back out again. Some of them are on tag. Well, I should imagine a lot of them are on tag. But it doesn't stop them from doing what they want to do, you know what I mean? That is not going to stop them from doing what they want to do. Anyway, this is those two videos. Look at the energy in this slide. As I said, I haven't got the sound on you. Right. I did play them last night, but... It was on another channel. My husband, former law enforcement, was running after her. Went to hop over the fence. Shoelace got caught on fence. Hung <laughs> there. Yelling forever, please. Cut his shoelace, follow. Was he okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Did they catch the perp? I hope they caught the perp after all that. You know what I mean? So, no, our laws are too soft. 
and I wouldn't trust them with anything like this, this sort of thing. I really wouldn't. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something else as well. The good that in this country is demonstrating. Right? Now, I know of another case, but I don't know the full details on it. But this case has been going on for years. For years. And the police, from what I can understand, have misled her, misled the mother, gave her false information, uh, everything. And I think it was about two years ago I was watching something where the police actually went in to get the per one of the people involved in the death of her son, right? Not to arrest them, but to take them to a safe place. And the person involved. What I do know is there was a, there was a big police cover-up on that, from what I understand. And it's heartbreaking. When I watched that video of them coming in and taking that person out of that building for their own safety, the cries from that mother, unbelievable. But now, um, I think, this is just my opinion, I think they are wanting us to move away from the North Carolina thing. But I'm not moving anywhere until I get actual confirmation that that, that lad, that I have found that lad, they have confirmed it's not that lad by speaking to his mother, his doctor, his teacher, any of them. So a DNA, take a swab, whatever. I have no problem. Right? You have no problem giving your DNA. So DNA is the one that will actually say whether it was Sebastian or not. But they haven't been found that lad. They haven't found him, the lad. So, News Nation. News Nation. I can get my maps. Where's my maps? Oh, it is. News Nation. Is it? No. Oh, no, I've got it on. No, I no. Get off there, please. Let's see if this is the one. Yeah, all done. Oh, my mouse. Share this.
Guess what? I was watching this morning. I was on YouTube watching on my TV. Yeah, I'm sad. I was watching another YouTuber rip apart another YouTuber. I'm thinking, why have I got this on my TV? Why am I even watching this? You know what I mean? But you see, a lot of these YouTubers, they say they're in the crime thing. But they come online and they don't even talk about any of the cases. They don't. They don't talk about none of the cases. Some of them don't. They just talk about what they've done that week and who else they can talk about, have a go about someone else. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, I thought you was true crime. Why aren't you talking about something in the crime that's happened? Be it Sebastian or like on Thursday we got the um, Adam Montgomery sen sentencing coming up. So I'll be online early that day. It's, what is it, 1 p.m. your time. No, I'll be on, yeah, I'll be on about, it starts at 6 p.m. my time. But what I'll do, I'll come on about quarter past five and just do a quick update of it all. But I am determined to see the sentencing. Because I watched and went live every day on that case. Every day I went live. And that piece of S did not show up once. But he's been told he's got to come to the sentencing. Even if they have to wheel him in, strapped it in one of them chairs, he's got to turn up. So I'm going to be there to see that. Anyway, this is... I can get my mouse to flip and work. The news interview. Oh, God, I've got my headphones. Hold on. Let's start. Girl, what Adam did to his daughter is evil, yeah. But I'll be streaming that uh, probably through Court TV. Um, but I'll be streaming it live. I, I even went on uh, my laptop today and I typed it. What time is it in the UK when it's 1 p.m. in the U in USA? It said 6 p.m. I meant five. I'll be there. I'll be there. I've been long. Then it could be because you've got all the witness uh, the statements to be read out, haven't you? The witness statements and all that lot. I feel sorry for the mother.
Right. No. There's something that was said today. You know, when he got to North Carolina, he was told by the staff there, the management, that they was not allowed to show him the video because it was an open investigation. I don't think law enforcement had even been there, had even got there by then and collected it. If law enforcement had collected that video, why would they say, oh, we can't show you? They wouldn't have it to show it in my dialect like, site. Sorry, law enforcement have taken the video. So, I'm a bit of interference, I can hear it on my headphones, so I'm sorry if you're getting any interference. I don't know why, it's, why but we're getting a bit of interference. Right, homeless or run away, he may not come. Um, I think SG for that for him to be there, he's got to go by some sort of vehicle <coughs> <coughs> because it's up on a hill. You know what I mean? It's up on top of a hill. So it's not something you can just walk up to. You gotta go and I don't think you can just walk in there. I think you're going by car. Right? So I don't think he's a wrong I don't think he's classed as a homeless or a wrong way. He was with someone. And as I was just about to say, if there's anyone on that video 
that they don't want Seth to see, blank them out. If there's any registration numbers, blank it out. Right? Boy could have a rap sheet and not come forward. Possibly. Possibly. So, um, they could blank it all out. Any information on those videos or video they have got, they can blank out. So, when they say they've got no credible evidence or whatever from that photo, is BS. They've got a video. Now, on the day when Sebastian uh, Seth went there, he was told they could not show him the video. So, I don't think law enforcement had even got there. Now, North Carolina law enforcement are going to get there quicker than Seth. Yeah? So, why did it take, when you think they had that photo from the Saturday, I think Seth went up on the Sunday. Or once he got it confirmed that by the woman who posted it and by the woman who took the photo, once he had confirmation that it was not AI generated, he got in his car and drove up there. So they can blank out any information. So why did it take so long for North Carolina police, law enforcement, to get there when Seth has said, it can take up to five to six hours for him to get there. It's not going to take them five to six hours to get there. So they obviously hadn't been, they'd phoned them and told them to hold them tight from that day, from that day. And if anyone asks, to not give it them, right? They was told in advance by law enforcement not to give them that video to him, right? Because they knew the father would go there. They knew he, right? So they hadn't even been there and collected the video by the time Seth had been there. That's bad. That has given how many hours it took Seth five, six hours to get there. So it gave him five to six hours for that lag to get in a car, in a vehicle, a bus, a coach, uh, a, a car, whatever, to get away. Now you can get quite a distance in five to six hours. That's why they can't find the lad. That's why they can't find the car. Um, from what I know, no, she has not been identified. SG, no, she hasn't. From what I understand and what I've heard, no. So, all I talk about is be careful where you share this picture. Well, I've shared it on many lives now. And they're sharing on the news program. And this is why the law enforcement have come out and put that statement out because Seth and his PR are now on nationwide news people. Right? They want to throw... They want to get us off that subject. And as I said, it won't happen until I we get proper, proper full confirmation that A, they found the lad, B, they've got DNA to compare with Sebastian's DNA, which I should imagine they've got, right? Um, that that lad is not Sebastian.
don't even think about showing me the birth certificate because you, you can get fake birth certificates. So we'll see. I'm not backing away from North Carolina. I'm not. Because I think, well, it may not even be in North Carolina now. Five, six hours it took Seth to get there. And the police hadn't even been there then. I, I swear to God, I don't think the police had been and took that video by the time Seth had got there. So if it took him five to six hours, how much longer did it take for law enforcement to get off their backside, put the coffers down, the donuts down, get in the car and drive to this? Grandfather's Mountain in North Carolina. How long would it take North Carolina law enforcement to get there? A lot quicker than it would Seth. So why has it did it take so long? All I needed was one patrol car to go up there, pick up the video, sign it all off, bag it all up. And bring it back. And then TBI, FBI could have gone to their station, North Carolina Law Enforcement, whatever station they're at, to the station where they had the video and collect it from there. So I think they're giving us a bit of a red herring. Throwing it, trying to throw us off. Not working. Anyway, let's continue. It's not long. Sorry about the disturbance. Right, it's right, let's I don't even think that woman is involved. I think she's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I really do. Now, on that YouTube channel I was watching today, right, someone sent the YouTube app a picture and they sent the picture of Sebastian where he's standing by the she's. Cut it down, so it's just Sebastian. Then another picture of him standing by that trophy. Well, she's edited it down and cut it down, just so it's him. And then she's got that picture of that lad from the mountain place, yeah? And she's cut that down, and she's literally put one behind the other, right? And the knees join up, the arms, same height and everything. I'm going, this, they cannot tell me that is not Sebastian. Until they give me, until they give any of us the full information, which, as I keep saying, they don't have to. 
people, if they want us to shut up and stop sharing this, they need to give us something more than just the BS they've just given us. Right, now it's supposed to be going on Nancy Grace tonight and that won't come out until after my live finishes. It never does. It always comes out way after my live finishes. So, but yeah, I, I don't think she's there with him. I think she's just there at the wrong time, at the wrong place. She's walking around to go to the car park up that little hill. There's a car park just across. I think she's walking over there to go to her car. But, as I said, it all depends what they saw on that video. Now, if he saw them with someone else, then they need, they've got to follow up. They've got to, they cannot just say that was not Sebastian. We're not believing you, law enforcement, some the county. We're not believing you. We know how you work. We know how the law enforcement could give us little tidbits, throw us off. Right? Now, you was quick enough to come out and say the glasses weren't Sebastian's. You was quick enough to come out and say those black pants were not Sebastian's. Now, you've had these trousers, what, what day we on now? Over a week, isn't it? Over a week they've had those trousers. And now you just come out and tell us it's not, it's not Sebastian. But you can't tell us it's not Sebastian. Because you don't even know yourself because you just said he looks like a minor. Now, if he was Sebastian, you'd know he was a minor. You'd know he was under 18. Or if it's 21 in the USA, I don't know. Right? But you'd know that. So you're telling us he looks like a minor. You're telling us. We haven't found that lad. He looks very young. He looks like a minor. So instead of just saying, we haven't found the lad, be careful what you do when sharing, because he looks like a minor. You just said, be careful what you're sharing, the pig. He looks like a minor. You're telling us you haven't found the lad. Simple as. That's all you're saying to us is, we have not found that lad. No, because North Carolina, it took them over five or six hours to get there. Their law enforcement took them over five to six hours to get there to get the video. Because why would the management say to Seth, we cannot show you the video? If law enforcement had been and took the video, they would say, we cannot show you the, the video because law enforcement have now got it, have been and taken it. Simple. So, we look at the words. Well, I do anyway. I look at words, how they say things. And sometimes it can take me a good five minutes just to get, read one little paragraph because I'm looking at every word they have written. Like that one last night when it came up. Fake, uh, what was it, the, what, the update thing? I said then that was BS. Because how can you tell us that there is no credible evidence from that picture, right? <laughs> when we know you've got a video. And we know you got the video because of that picture. So if there's no credible evidence, what is why have you got a video? Is that not evidence which you only got because of that picture? So if it wasn't for that picture, you wouldn't have the video. So 
can't pull the wool over my eyes, law enforcement. Anyway, so that was the interview. Now, a lot of people aren't keen on this, John Mathis or whatever his name is. If Seth wants someone, he says he's got to go back to work next week, or this week or whenever. Well, I think it's next week he goes back. He needs someone because he's going to be doing 12-hour shifts. He can't come home and then go and do interviews on YouTube. You know what I mean? He's got to come home and get rest because he's got to be up again the next day. He's got to eat. He's got to rest. He can't do his job properly if he doesn't look after himself. Right? He can be kept informed as to what's going on. And if it's something like there's another sighting of Sebastian, then he can probably say, right, get it confirmed. Get it all confirmed that this is a tr uh, true sighting. Then arrange with his works to maybe not come in the next day because he's going down to wherever, right? So, but we've got another video. And it's on Facebook. Um, but I'm just going to read you what Nick Berry said last night. Um, I just want to read this. Oh, come on. My mouse is... And I'll go to... Up, to scroll down, it's going up. It says, time to clarify a few things. Right? Several of you have messaged me citing reports from podcasts. Are all social media detectives? <laughs> I'm not a detective. I'm just a YouTuber. Right? Reporting that others in North Carolina have looked into it and they say the photo is not of Sebastian Rogers. Yes. I know of no official statement saying such a thing. Oh, God. And I think if that was the case, the North Carolina investigators would share that information with authorities here in Tennessee. Hasn't happened. We know 15-year-old Sebastian disappeared from his hang. Tennessee home more than two months ago. So that set uh, that was two months and ten days, I believe. Right. The photo was taken at a visitor center at the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina last weekend. Since the thing, authorities have been trying to confirm who is in the photo. Stuff the photo. Who's in the video? About the video, I better keep going on about the photo. Really? So she was told, I think she was told to put that info out. Hold on, I'll put this up. I was furious the PI said, yes, she said the false info. But now I know why. When I privately messaged Chloe, she respect, responded with a heart. Mm. You know what's happening, Chloe. We you know. We're not, you know what I mean? And I think she knows. she knows as well. They're trying to get us off that mountain. They don't want us on that mountain. Right? Now, you've got some invest some people, YouTubers, who talk about some of them in Utah Wells, and they will say they are still on 210 Ben Hill Road. They have not left 210 Ben Hill Road because that is where they believe Summer Moon Utah Wells is. 
She's up there somewhere. That's where I believe, right? So they haven't left there. And I'm not leaving North Carolina Grandfather Mountain, right? Because they're not telling us. They're giving us little snippets, and which is false, which is false information. Right, where am I? Right. I was sharing that, but obviously it wasn't. I am now. Not at the moment. <laughs> it will come up on the screen in a minute, yeah. We know... We Sebastian, the photo was taken at the visitor centre at the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Isn't there a song about the Blue Ridge Mountains? Since then, authorities have been trying to confirm it was in. I don't care about the photo no more. I don't. I want to know what's going on with the video. I don't want to know who's in it. I just want confirmation. But I said that it is or it isn't Sebastian. Right? At this point, this is not a confirmed sighting. No, because they haven't found the light. But I'm told it hasn't been determined yet if it's not Sebastian. No, because they haven't found the light. Oh, God, how many times do I have to say that? I'm in touch with the lead investigator with the Sumner County Sheriff's Office on this case. Chief Deputy Eric Craddock. Tells me to know. Still working, nothing wrong down. And he adds, I promise, yeah, I will update you, Nick, when we have one. Who believes that? Who believes Deputy Eric Craddock when he says, I promise, I will update you when we have one? Seems pretty clear. The case is not closed yet as far as this photo is concerned. It isn't. That, of course, could change at any time as the authorities continue to look for the person in the photo, whether it's Sebastian or someone else. On this page, and like many others, I try to stick with what we know of fish authorities. Others may have theories and opinions which are certainly fine. I can tell you some investigators tell me privately that the chances of this actually being are slim. Mm -hmm. But it is something they must check out. Yep, they should. You never know. I do try to stick to the facts and the fact that is that this photo remains a potential lead until we hear officially otherwise. More to come. Continue to call to the one out on BBI find. You know, I'm going to put in my description now. I used to put that in my description. I'm doing a live. I don't do it no more because I don't trust them. As we've just found out with that photo that from yesterday is false information. They've gave them this information. They've put it up and put it out there and it's false. It's not this one here tells you they're still working on that photo. And then then you get which is he? Oh, God. Mm. Wasn't it so? Go to group view. And then you have this. To... 
Sumya County Sheriff's Department released a press statement. The photo of the child in North Carolina is not Sebastian Rogers. But then it goes, let's be careful sharing this photo further. As it does look like a minor and they deserve privacy. That's telling me you have not found the child in the photo. You have not found I'm looking for a child in this photo. Are you actually physically looking? Is FBI in on this now because it's gone across state lines? They should be because you, Sumner County, are I'm, I'm, I'm TBI. A bunch of I can't say the words I want to say. Can't remember if I told you a number of days ago. Chloe posted a long poster. A large search party was coming to Tennessee and she was looking for rooms. I think a day later or less. I did something about that. I did hear something about that. SG, I did. I'm thinking they're looking for rooms to put these search people up. How many people are coming? Where from? You know what I mean? Put some tents up. Get some fold up beds and whatever. These army bunk, army barrack beds sort of thing. Put them up in, in tents. They've got plenty of fields out there they haven't searched yet. Hmm. Do you think that was another fake post she's been told to put up? If this is the case, I'm not going to believe Chloe in future. I'm not going to believe anything she puts out. She's going to keep putting up with this fake information out. Because it's gone now. I, I must admit, I never saw it, but I did hear someone talking about it. Or probably seeing a, someone putting a comment on a YouTuber's channel about it. I'm not sure. But I remember something about um, she was looking, they was looking for rooms for them to stay in, or houses or something like that. So, I'm going to of an empty house they could uh, put them in. Yeah. They're not living there at the moment. They're in a camper. So they could go and stay in that house. It's a three-bedroom house. Possibly four because they have got a study room thing, a loft area. Right? So they could use that as a bedroom as well. Could get quite a few beds in there, little beds in there. And while they're there, they could do a search of the house. Only joking. Anyway, so we've got all this information coming out. And we've had, I would say the police have only put this pressure right now. Yeah, she's dripping. She's dripping information. And then removing it. That's not on, Chloe. P.I., we don't like that. Your P.I., you shouldn't be putting any fake information out there. Right? But apparently I've heard there's some sort of rally going on that Seth's organised. On my other channel, I only have this channel. Oh, I'm a YouTube one. I'm a YouTube itself. Yeah, you could have done. I'm going to have read it somewhere or seeing it somewhere. I'll have a check on my messages later. But, um, Chloe, you're a PI. Don't give out fake information, please. So, we've got that. 
How many people believe that it's fake information giving us? Um, right, then what else are we looking at? Uh, oh, yes. Let's see how quickly law enforcement this one. Confirm or not confirm on this one. Uh, hold on, let me check. Already. Oh, wow. But she shouldn't be putting out fake information. Right, now this is by he exists. He does some really good work as well. He doesn't do a lot of long videos. He does very short videos. Right? So, we're going to listen to this to see what it says. Right? And if you look, Laila Santinelli, she's another one missing from Kingsport, Tennessee. Santinelli. She's last seen at the whatever hotel in Kingsport on June 27, 2023, nearly a year ago. Coming up to a year ago. Right. And what have Tennessee police done? There's uh, Kingsport police done. T Ooh, let me think. That's a hard one. Nothing. Right. So, um, anyway. Turn that off because otherwise my phone's going to die. So they do nothing on this case here. Layla Sankt. Sank Layla Sankt. Hello. Come on. For that one. Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Three years. Oh. What did they do on that case? Oh, look again. Nothing. They're waiting for that. Big tip to come in and throw the case right open. A bit like this case here. We're waiting for that one big tip to come in and open the case wide open. Well, we've given you one big tip. And you keep giving us false information back. You won't even let the father see that feature. You could disguise, you can hide number plates, you can hide people you can blur them out in a video you can do all that so let him see the video if anyone knows this son it's going to be the father it's going to be the mother let them see this video you tell them not to say anything they won't say nothing because believe me Chris has got a lot of, uh, Seth has got a lot of information, right, that he hasn't released. He hasn't. He's got so much information, really, but he can't release it.
Notice the legs again. Right, yeah, that's in Ohio. Right, uh, let me get that off. That was in Ohio. When my mouth starts working again, I swear to God, I'm gonna get really peed off with this mouth. Ohio. Now, I'm sure that's crossed over state lines, has it not? Uh, I can't remember if it was Knoxville, that was for Bristol. Okay. I think it was Knoxville. I'm not sure myself. I'll have to Google that again. The found eleven children. Oh yeah. I believe that as well, SG. I believe that as well. But um that case, when well, I can go back up again, is it this one there? I want to delete that one, that one off. Right. This here. What, what do you think of that picture? It is a, a picture of a lad more 15 plus years old. Personally, I don't think it is Sebastian. But I can't tell because he's got, like, the hat on, he's got big coat on. It's just that stance with the legs. Right. But I don't know. As I said, it's probably been given to Seth to look at. And... Yes, it has been given to law enforcement, and yes, they should be chasing this up. But you know what? It took North Carolina police over five hours to get to that place and get the video because Seth got there before them. Because management could not show Seth the video. Now, like I said before earlier on, if the police had already been and took that video, the management would just say, sorry, we can't show you the video. Law enforcement has already been and collected it. But they didn't. Because law enforcement phoned them up beforehand and said, to save that video, save all the videos from that day. Right, not just one video. Right? Possibly the one by the main entrance. Right? That'd be the one I mainly want to see. And maybe ones by the car parks. You know what I mean? So, they got in touch with them and told them, keep your the video. Right? If anyone comes asking, do not show them the video. It's an open investigation. And that's what he was told. That they couldn't show him the video because it was an open investigation. So police had not even been there by the time Seth had got there. That's, if that's the case, that is out of order. That is totally disgusting. <coughs> For them not to be there. Right? Because if the, if the police had been there, they'd turn around and say, 
So you can't see the video law enforcement have now got all the video. They wouldn't say we've been told not to show you the video because they wouldn't have the video if law enforcement had it. So they hadn't even been and collected the video before Seth had even got there. That's disgusting if that is true. And I think it is. Just by the wording from what Seth was told and everything. Just from the wording. So, I'm getting what you think. I can show you that video again. Oh, let me have a quick go at it again. See how he's standing. Right, what was that again? I can't remember, but I think North Carolina had some major incident around the time Seth going there. Okay. Okay. It wasn't anything to do with school, was he? Because I know there's a couple of cases of schools be. Right, with guns and whatever. I'll check that up. I'll Google it. In fact, I'll let her have a look. No, to be honest with you, because I know if there's a major incident, right, there's a major incident, but surely, surely they can spare one officer in a squad car to go up to the mountain. One officer. And pick up all this video footage. That's all I needed was one officer. Right. Oh, right. My shit. I thought, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I let them off. I let them off. I still think it's disgusting. But there's four, four law enforcement killed. That's not good. That's not good. When did this picture come out? Was it, was it what? It's on. I can't remember now. Twenty sixth was like sixty days. Yeah, it was, yeah, I think it was around about twenty nine if that picture come out. Shame, that is bad. 
So we don't have cases like that. We we do get shooting cases where people are killed by gunfire, but it's normally gang related, right? Or terrorists, right? So if a gang related or terrorists walk through a shopping arcade and we start shooting up things like that. But we don't have it on a daily and I know the USA is a lot bigger country than the UK. I know, I know, I know. The UK is like the size of maybe half the size of one of your states. <laughs> so we're very small. Law enforcement serving serving search one. What for? Oh, for that mass shooting. Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. There's a case over here in the UK where... Was it one woman or two police officers got shot? And I'm not sure if there's both women or one was a man and one was a woman. And they was called to a domestic... Right? So they've gone there. Now, bear in mind, our police officers do not carry guns. Right? They do carry some of them, not all of them. Some of them do carry the, the zapper thing, them zappers. Right? But they don't carry guns. And that was called to this house by someone saying there was a for domestic violence. And as I walked up to the house, I knocked the door. And in, as the guy opened it, he shot him. He just shot him. And what it was, it, um, <coughs> <coughs> he'd uh, took control of this home and their occupants. Right, don't know what for now, I can't remember. Took control of this house and their occupants, gagged them and whatever, made the phone call. So the police turned up at the door, not expecting anything but to a husband and wife maybe having a disagreement. The door opens, boom, shot dead. So we do get cases like that. But very rare do we have mass shootings, as I said, unless it's terrorists organised or sometimes we get drive-by shootings. We've been getting a lot more assaults against women and young children since the population of... Uh, Illegals are coming to the country. I say illegals because they're coming by little dingy little boat across across this ocean. Right? But they all get off these boats and they're not kids. It's not kids. Right? Now, someone pointed out a while ago. Right? When you go to war, right? When, you, when you're men, Go to war. Who do they leave behind? Yeah. When men are going to war, they leave be what behind their wives and their family. Right? And someone pointed this out and said, Have you noticed how all these illegals that are coming over here on these little dinghy boats and whatever are not women, are not children, they're full grown adults. And I thought, you know what, that's true. When you go to war, you leave your hus your wives and your children at home. Could they be coming over to the UK? Right. In such big numbers. As I said, if they've got a legal right to be in this country, then do it the legal way. Do it the legal way. 
because you're paying these people over in France. And I wouldn't mind, but our government was paying the French government a lot of money, a lot of money to stop these illegals from getting in these little boats and coming over to the UK. And you know what the French police were doing? Standing there and watching them get in their boats and start coming over the UK. There wasn't stopping them. Even though the UK was giving them big amounts of money. So, but we've got a lot of illegals coming in and they've been putting hotels. They're taking over hotels. The government are literally taking over hotels and places like that. Old army barracks. One lot was even put on an old, uh, an unused ship, right? They didn't like that. I said, be grateful you're not sinking. You know what I mean? It was floating. It wasn't sinking. It had all the amenities, right? They could come and go when they wanted. They paid, given so much money for each day where they could go and buy food or whatever. And they didn't like the fact they was put on a ship. And my reply to that was, well, it wasn't sinking. You know what I mean? They come over here yeah, and probably do it with you. They come over and they want everything five star. They're not happy unless they're getting all this money, all the nice big houses, free dental, free health care. It's not on. Because our young girls and our young boys and our women are being assaulted by these people. And our police are doing nothing. I'm having a rant tonight, aren't I? I'm not in a good mood. I'm not in a good mood because of this lot coming out. But I... What do you think, though, about that? Let's get it back up again. I'll just get back to that bit. bit. Take it back to where it was, where that lad was. Look at Hold on, hold on. I've got to stop it. Oh, it See how he's standing? But then again, that leg is going out the other way, where really he's coming in. So I don't think it is Sebastian. Right? That is uh, an older picture. Compared to this one, and I'm wondering why now? Why has this woman come forward now with this picture? Okay, she took it in April on April the sixth, and she reported it to law enforcement, TBI. But we heard nothing about it until now. And we're now in what, May? A month ago, this picture we took, a month ago, we heard nothing about this. Because she took it, informed law enforcement, and then didn't, didn't put it on Facebook or anything. She waited. She heard nothing. A month has gone by. And no, no one's heard about this like here. So I think more people are going to, okay, they see something they're going to report it, give it a while, and then put it out on Facebook. Give them about a week or so. Because if you don't need nothing, then I'll be thinking, you know what, are they actually doing anything? Because they've not got back to me to confirm they've got the email. They've not got back to me to confirm. Thank you for your uh, information. We are looking into this. Please do not put this on social media. It's 
Do you think this woman waited a month before she gave it to her, this guy here? We don't know how long, if Seth had it before, don't know how long Seth's had it, if he has had it or not. Does it look like Sebastian? No. It wouldn't hurt them. They have to open the email to see what the information is. It wouldn't hurt them just to quickly send a reply back. Takes seconds. Thank you for your information. This is being looked into. Please do not put this on any social media. And I'll be going, okay. Then about a month later, I'll probably put it on social media because that's given them a month to look into this. But the fact that they've not even mentioned this one. They've not even mentioned this one. <coughs> I'm wondering if Seth, like, I know that guy would have probably sent it to Seth from Evil Exist. He would have sent that to Seth. So, but I don't know. It's hard to say because of that hat. And he does look old, but he does look, perhaps take the hat off him. You know what I mean? Would he look like Sebastian? I don't know. Ohio is probably very cold. And that's probably why he's got the big coats and hat on. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get any closer. No, I can't. Can't get any closer than that. I'd have to go on to my watching game and zooming and edit it down to get closer. But see, there's another possibility, another sighting. This was a month ago. So let's see what they say about this one. Let's see how quick they come back to us about this one. As I keep saying, TBI and law enforcement, a simple response will stop all this coming out. If you don't want this on social network sites, just send a simple, basic response out of courtesy, if nothing else. You're asking public for their, your, their help. They are giving you their help. And you can't be bothered to return a simple little email. Two sentences, if that. Christ, I could type that, in se type that up in seconds. Bump, gone. So there's that one in Ohio, which was taken the 6th, did she say, the 6th of April? It's now the 7th of May. So it's over a month ago. So it's hard to stay. So I wanted to talk about. Hold on. Doing this very soon. 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 Doing this very Sexual. I've been doing all that. So, 
I'm gonna leave you anyway because twenty one. It's nearly twenty past ten. So I'll leave you, but we'll go out with what we're coming with. So thank you all again. I do really appreciate you all watching and taking your time out to watch my videos. I do appreciate it. So have a good day. Have a good evening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.